Okay, you guys, a quick review of French technique here. Remember, you want to keep your feet flat on the ice. Don't trip yourself over your points. Cross over if need be. Or you can just shuffle back. If your ankles are particularly unflexible today, you can go straight up like this. But this is quite low angle here, and it's quite plastic. This is the perfect kind of ice when it gets steeper and it's plastic like this. This is where you want to practice your French technique because it's so easy to get purchase. So you can do your little twirlies. Around and 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 Okay, now that we're dizzy, let's go up. Okay, you guys. So the one thing when you get on steeper terrain, when you're Ekensteining like this, is your weight's always going to be balanced over the uphill points, and those are going to be the most important ones to get purchase on, okay? So you don't have to have your weight completely flat. In fact, it's distributed between uphill points and downhill points, you'll tend to fall downhill. So just concentrate on setting the uphill points and balancing on top of them as you stand up, you'll be secure, okay? Just remember to always watch out for any kind of body motion that's going to make your points go like this. They're going to shear. They do. And if you're not balanced on the other foot, you're going to go for a ride. Okay. Same thing going up or down. You want your weight balanced on the uphill points, which are the two in the back. Okay. So your boot, the back of your boot should be digging in to your Achilles tendon, like so. And if you do this, you can stand up pretty straight and go down steep ice. Nice little short steps. And then you're down. Okay, the same concept here. We want to practice this stuff. When we're practicing the new technique, we want to practice it on easy terrain. And ideally, we don't want to practice it in this place if this is where we're going to practice our hard Ekensteining technique because we have a good little run out here. If we do blow it, you're not going to stop till you get into the snow. Which probably wouldn't be so bad if you didn't put your crampon points down. A little bumped up.